Welcome back guys and today we're back at St Aidan's to do a part 2 of a black neck greaves and also we're going to do an all round bird watching session and we'll keep you informed on what we see. Okay guys so we've got a little um, egret there, these are migrants from over in Spain and uh, I've just spotted him in a puddle over here and what I think he's doing is he's searching for food, he'll eat newts, frogs, toads, minnows anything what can fit into his mouth so we've just got a little closer you can get a better look so he's just took off and landed a bit further away in this marshland I think he may have just been spooked So we found the black neck greaves from last week again. There's only one this time, but we're gonna get closer. So we have a full day here today. So hopefully we'll be able to get lots of cool footage. Okay guys, so we've just moved further along to these pair and we'll keep you posted. Yeah, we've just spotted a hare right behind us. We've got like lakes and then a meadow behind us, so. And you can tell a hare from rabbits because they have black tips on the ears and they're about double the size of a normal European rabbit. Got a black neck greaves up close again. We've come in even more closer, but we just got distracted by that European brown hair. But we're a really good sight too. And they're just going into this reed bed to take some cover. And these birds are breeding here at St Aidan's and they're in the process of building the nests now. And these birds will rarely if ever leave the water. Like I said in last video, these guys make up 25% of the breeding population in the UK. They've come out of the reed bed. He's just grooming himself now.
managed to sneak up more. And when these birds um, breed, they actually put the chicks on the backs and they'll carry them across the pond. There's three there. Yeah, I've got some cracking shots for you folks and I'll display them on the screen at the end of this clip. Okay, so both me and Louis wildlife photographer will be doing a series on black neck grebes. Basically we'll be watching these chicks grow up because these are the adults now that you're watching but we're getting ready to breed and basically we're going to do a few episodes and segments showing you guys the chicks developing and growing up. Okay guys so there is also a lot of great crested grebe in this area as you can see there he's just grooming himself. The lighting isn't the best but you get a decent look and like I said a couple of weeks ago he's in his mating plumage and this time year they'll be nesting and there's rumours that there's a nest out in the open down the path from here where you can see the eggs so if I can get a shot of the mother laying on the eggs that'd be great there's two great crested grebes there and the females are the ones sat down and the males are the ones um, just floating in the water and the female sat on a nest and I think she's incubating her eggs and it is April now so it is egg laying season and nesting season for most birds okay guys so we just came back from that walk down the path and we did just see a reed bunting and I'll put the photo up but We've came back and we've seen the black neck grebes again. We think that these are the same pair because they've just come out of a reed bed. And they're not diving this time, they're grooming and sunning themselves. So we're just halfway through eating his lunch and we sat down and three of them just decided to come really close up to a bank. Okay guys, we're really looking out. I need to whisper, but we've just gone down into this little embankment where there's no reeds. 
and they're within about 20 metres of us. Probably less, probably about 15. <laughs> And we've just passed our opening. We're going to see if there's one a little further down where we can get a real good look. We have just found another opening but we've gone further out into the lake. Now I'm going to concentrate on getting a couple of photos and I'll put them up on the screen. Okay guys, one has just literally come within about less than 10 metres. You can pick up every single little detail on his back. This is amazing and he's just about to go past our opening this might be the last little glimpse we'll get of him Okay, so I've got another great crested grebe here and I've took a couple of photos as well. We've gone to a far side of the reserve to a place called Lemonroid Lake. It's a quieter area but there's uh, quite a few grebes and cormorants. Yeah, so we're going to go further down the lake now, just two hours a minute ago because I've just moved spots and now we're going to move back because he's gone a little further down the lake. Okay guys, I've just flipped this little plastic sheet and uh, I've just found a common toad known as Bufo Bufo underneath this and he's right here in my hand as you can see common toads have glands behind the back of their eyes and also they have those sort of striped eyes and that's how you can tell a common toad from a frog so as you can see he has those sort of striped eyes right there and that gland so this is a nice little find, we'll go release him. So this common toad is under human encroachment in the UK. Common toads as a whole are actually going in decline in England because of farmland being built over their habitat. So we're going to go get a quick segment of me releasing him. Going in for the release right now. And there he goes, back where we found him. Okay guys, so I've just flipped another one of these and we found this little guy and all of these toads around here are quite small and the small size indicates that the males. Okay guys, so what you can see here is a mute swan building its nest. This is most likely the female guarding the nest, whilst a male will go and collect different reeds from the reed beds. It's built in this reed bed so it's protected from predators. And as you can see, it's a really large mass of floating reeds, and that'll keep it safe from different predators. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. Today I've been with Louis Wildlife Photography. He's a young lad like me who's into nature, so make sure to go check out his stuff. Today I've been at RSPB St. Hayden's. So this is in the Leeds, West Yorkshire area. So if you like this video, make sure to come and check it out. So comment, like and subscribe.